Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thanks for joining me. This is Night Prayer for Tuesday, May 28th. It's the sixth week of the Easter season, and week five in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 78, verses 56 to 72. And James, chapter 1, verse 16 to 27. Now join me in singing verse 6 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts to the tune of New Britain. O oh, bless our God and never cease. O oh, saints, fulfill God's praise. Who keeps our life, maintains our peace and guides our doubtful ways. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O oh, merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you, overlook our faults, cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, yet they tempted and provoked you, and did not keep your commandments. Alleluia, Psalm 78, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, yet they tempted and provoked you, and did not keep your commandments, but turned back, and dealt unfaithfully like their forebears. They were turned aside like a deceitful bow. They angered you with their mountain shrines, and made you jealous with their graven images. And when you heard this, you were furious, and greatly abhorred Israel. And so you forsook the tabernacle of Shiloh, the tent where you lived among your people, and delivered your ark into captivity, your glorious ark into the enemy's hand. You gave your people over to the sword, furious with your inheritance. The fire consumed their young men, and there were no weddings for their maidens. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. And then you awoke as one out of a deep sleep, like a mighty warrior overcome by wine. You struck the enemy from behind and put them to perpetual shame. You rejected the tabernacle of Joseph and chose not the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which you loved, and you built your sanctuary like the heavens, like the earth which you established forever. You chose David, your servant, and took him from the sheepfolds, from following the sheep great with young, you brought him to shepherd the people of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel, and Israel, your inheritance. And so David fed them according to the integrity of his heart, and guided them by the skill of his hands. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, yet they tempted and provoked you, and did not keep your commandments. Alleluia. A reading from the letter of James, chapter 1, beginning at verse 16. Do not be deceived, my beloved. Every generous act of giving, with every perfect gift, is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. In fulfillment of his own purpose, he gave us birth by the word of truth, so that he would become a kind of first fruits of his creatures. 
You must understand this, my beloved, that let everyone be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, for your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank growth of wickedness, and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not merely hearers who deceive themselves. For if any are hearers of the word and not doers, they are like those who look at themselves in a mirror. For they look at themselves and on going away immediately forget what they look like. But those who look into the perfect law, the law of, liber of liberty and persevere, being not hearers who forget but doers who act, they will be blessed in their doing. If any think they are religious and do not bridle their tongues, but deceive their hearts, their religion is worthless. And do not, religion is, religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Abide with us, beloved God, and do not abandon us to evil. Have compassion on your church, and forgive us our trespasses. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.